principle of superposition. The principle of superposition states that where two or more waves meet, the total displacement at any point is the vector sum of the displacements that each individual wave would cause at that point. Now, um, let's see what does this mean. Now, in this diagram, we can see that there are two waivers. So the first wave, it moves to the right, and there's another wave move to the left. Uh, this is the conditions of the two waivers at 0 seconds. At 0 0.1 seconds, the first wave moves to the right, and the second wave moves to the left, and uh, the two waivers are getting closer. But uh, still, they haven't met with each other, and there is no superposition yet. So this is before superposition. Now let's say the amplitudes of the first wave is 2 cm. Okay, the amplitude is 2 cm. And the amplitude of the second wave is 1 cm. 1 cm. At 0 0.2 seconds, these two waves meet at this point. Okay. Superpositions occurs, and according to the principles of superpositions, the amplitude of the resultant wave, this is a resultant wave, the amplitude of the resultant wave is equal to the sum, the vector sum of the amplitude of these two waves. Okay, so this 2cm, this 1cm, and therefore the vector sum will be 3cm. So during superpositions, the amplitude of the wave will become. 3 cm. Uh, after superposition, these two waves it separate again. The 1 cm wave move to the left, and then the 2 cm wave move to the right. The principle of superposition states that when the waves meet, the amplitude produced is equal to the sum of the amplitudes. Uh, before and after the, the waivers meet at that point. Now, let's see another example. This is at 0 seconds and we there are two waivers, okay? Uh, the first one, the amplitude is, uh, let's say, 1 cm, okay? And the second one, now the, for the second one, the second wave, uh, this is a second wave and it's a trough, uh, okay? This is a crest and this is a trough. And uh, the trough, the displacement is negative 1 cm, okay? And then so at 0 0.1 seconds, the two waves getting closer, uh, but still, they haven't met yet, so this is before superposition. At 0 0.2 seconds, during superpositions, during superpositions, the amplitudes of the wave is equal to the vector sum of these two waves, and the vector sum is equal to 1 cm plus negative 1 cm, which is equal to 0 cm. Okay, so from here we can see that the amplitude equal to 0 uh, during superposition. And uh, at 0 0.3 seconds, uh, the two waves separate the trough move to the left and the crest move to the right. Uh, so these two examples it shows uh, what happens or what will happen when two waves meet and according to the principles of superpositions when the two waves meet the amplitudes of the resultant wave is equal to the vector sum of the displacement of the two individual wave before and after they meet okay now let's have a look at these applets um, there are a few parameters that you can set in this applet pulse or continuous uh, equal amplitude or unequal amplitude, in phase or out of phase. Uh, first of all, I would like you to set uh, this to pulse and then the amplitude uh, to equal and the phase in phase. And then I would like you to click on the start buttons to observe the motions of the wave. Okay, now after clicking the start buttons, you can see that there is a uh, red pulse moving from left to right and a white pulse moving from right to left. Now I would like you to observe what happens when these two pulse meet at the center here. 
Okay, now when these two pulses meet at the center here, they produce a resultant pulse which is shown by the yellow line. Now the meetings of the waves at the same place to produce a new wave pattern is called the superposition of waves. After the two pulses meet with each other, they will separate okay, and come back to normal again. So the white pulse will keep on moving to the left and the red pulse will keep on moving to the right. Okay, after that, I would like you to change the parameters for the phase from in phase to out of phase. In phase means that the phase is the same and out of phase or anti phase means that the phase is not the same and the phase difference is 180 degree. So let's change this to out of phase and then the, click the start button to see what happens. Okay, now now from here, we can still see a red pulse moving from left to right and a white pulse moving from right to left. But this time the red pulse is a crest, but the white pulse is a trough. Okay, so let's see what will happen if these two waves superposition with each other at the center here. Okay, now the yellow line shows the patterns of the wave produced when these two Power superposition with each other at the center. 